Stage three of the tour of the Algarve, destination Tavira. Temperatures hovering around 28 Celsius and with a run of 203 kilometers in total, starting off in Faro, this was gonna be a sterling test in the heat. Well, some of the Northern Europeans have been visibly struggling with the temperatures. Only Kamna yesterday and a few others as well, just finding themselves out of sorts today. Well, the breakaway had to be brave to take on such a long stage. Ball from Burgos went for it, Iritzar from Uscatel Uscadi, Moreno from Fapel, and Casimiro from Kelly. That quartet stayed away for much of the day, maximum advantage around about five minutes. But ultimately, of course, it was going to be the sprinters that would have their fun. There was a danger of catching the break too early, and so there was a kind of a push-me-pull-you affair with the chase. It wasn't at the highest pace and the road was mobbed and as a result we started to get a few bumps and bruises as we had on the opening stage to Portimao. out. Yulen Iridzar, a sprinter, was the first to be dropped from the breakaway. He was gladly absorbed, close to the final sprint of the day. And then we were heading for the coast, destination Tavira. Absolutely stunning part of the world. But this was surely going to be a head-to-head -head -head against Sam Bennett and maybe the improving, we hoped, Pascal Ackerman from Bora Hansgrohe. The last three from the breakaway were caught, but the roundabouts were becoming a problem with so many riders still up towards the front, and the wheel touches duly came. Well, it's just one of several incidents, one of which collected Davide Ballerini, who got back on. Would that affect the lead-out for De Koenig Quickstep? Well, it was very pacey, four roundabouts in the last two kilometres and a very nasty right-hand turn that you just had to be close to the front to get out of. Ackerman looked well-placed, Sam Bennett didn't panic, however, and he had, of course, Michael Morkoff to deliver him. Went very early and Morkoff's pace was such that he cruised home for third place. Bennett took it ahead of Danny Van Poppel, as had been the case on the opening stage into Portimao. Bennett said it was a tough old day yet again in the heat. Well, he looked happy enough, as well he might. Once again, Ackerman just fading, I'm afraid, in the heat of battle. And there, this overhead shot for you, you can see him just starting to peel off. Abbasatori of Cairoral got himself another good finish. Borkov's podium place just shows you how much strength in depth to Koenig Quickstep have at this race. Ackerman finishing in fifth, ahead of Grosso, Buda, Oliveira, Leito and Ryan Gibbons. Great sprinting day and of course the time trial to come tomorrow will be very much to the liking of Ethan Hayter who looks very much secure in that yellow jersey. Two stages remaining then. The Tour of the Algarve rolls on with Hayter leading on the same time as Rodrigue and Lastra but a far better time trialist is the Ineos Grenadiers man and so he should have no problems holding on to yellow tomorrow and maybe carrying it all the way to the final in Malau. <laughs>